So now I'm going to go ahead and tie the middle of the rope prusik. So I'm going to take my 7 mil cordage, put the ends together, and find the middle of my rope. Once I find the middle of my rope, I'm going to go ahead and hook it on my thumb, and I'm going to take a measure. This measurement may work for me, it may not work for you. Once I find my measurement that's going to work, I'm going to go ahead and pinch it off. And I'm going to tie a stabilizing knot, a double figure eight stabilizing knot. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap that around the front of the standing end, continue all the way around, and pinch this off between my fingers. I'm going to take this back rope of the two lays of rope and move it to the front like so. From here I'm going to go ahead and take this bite that I created, send it all the way through and cinch it down. And I created a double figure eight. Now from here I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to look. I'm going to ensure that I don't have any twists in my double figure eight. To do this I'm going to go ahead and trace my finger all the way around ensuring I don't have any twists in my rope. So from here I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay this loop that I created over my anchor point. I'm going to grab through and pull it up through. Then from here again I'm going to go ahead and send it around one more time and pass it through one more time. And then I'm going to go ahead and let go creating that perpendicular locking bar and that prusik. Then I'm going to go ahead and check this. When I check it I'm going to go ahead and grab a hold of my knot and ensure that my perpendicular locking bar isn't more than six inches away or above my thumb because God gifted me with a four inch palm and a two inch thumb. So I'm going to make sure that I can still get my thumb on that perpendicular locking bar so I can move this back and forth. And that is the middle of the rope prusik.